Today we're gonna find out if there's any Charizards in this Pokemon Celebrations Elite Trainer Box. What's going on YouTube? Flashy here. Welcome back to another Pokemon pack opening video. Ever since the Celebration set has come out, I've really enjoyed opening it. It kind of feels like every single booster pack is a hit. And today we have one goal, and that is to find the Charizard Holographic. However, there's also a Golden Mew in this set, which I do not have for my collection. So we're gonna be looking for that one too, but it's those Charizards that we really want. But also in these boxes, there come five additional booster packs of Sword and Shield era sets. So maybe we get something cool in one of those as well. But this box has been sitting in my office for a few days now, and I gotta see what's inside. So let's get right to it. And as we always do, we're going to go through everything that comes in this Elite Trainer Box. The first thing up is the Player's Guide, which kind of shows you every single card in the set. But this row right here, all four of those, the OG3, the Golden Mew, we want those. That's what we're looking for today. Then we have the rule book, energy cards, card sleeves, dividers, a code card, condition markers, and some dice. Also in the Elite Trainer Box, you get this beautiful Greninja Black Star promo. And now the part we've all been waiting for, all of the packs. So as I mentioned, in these Elite Trainer Boxes, you get five additional packs. We have one Battle Styles, two Darkness Ablaze, a Vivid Voltage, and a Chilling Rain. And then of course, you get your 10 Pokemon Celebrations 25th Anniversary Packs, which have four cards each in them. We're actually going to be starting out by opening these four sets and then we'll move into the celebrations after all right first pack up is going to be chilling rain now i actually have only ever opened a few chilling rain packs i think we only did one here on the channel first code card up or from the back and let's kick off our celebrations opening hopefully we get to those charizards man we're starting off with a leaf energy that's exactly how we started off last week's video and we're going into crabomable doctor ledian inkay Rock Ruff, man, I, like I said, I only opened one or a few packs of these on the channel, so I never really got into Chilling Range too much. But these are some really nice artworks. The reverse is a Frostlass, and can we get one pack magic? No, it is an Ampharos non-hollow, but that's all right. Because next up, we have our Vivid Voltage. That's who we're looking for right there. Imagine, that's what's always so fun about just getting single packs, because you never know. You really never know what you're going to get in a single pack. And if you do hit something, oh... It's just even better. Code card. Here we go. Lightning energy luck in the vivid voltage. That's got to be it. That's got to mean something, right? That's got to mean that the Chonkachu is in the back. The secret rare. I'm not just going for regular. I want that secret rare. Rainbow rare Pikachu. Let's see. Here we go. Reverse is an energy and a whimsicott. Lightning energy luck was not there with us today. All right. 0 for 2. And next up is going to be battle styles. And honestly, we've opened a lot of battle styles here on the channel. I literally have a video called, Is Battle Styles Elite Trainer Box Even Worth It? Because, yeah, we uh, we struck out. We struck out pretty big. One, two, three, four. But you know what? Getting some of those Single Strike or Rapid Strike Urshifus out of one pack would be pretty awesome. These are all kind of just like extra, you know? Because what we're really here for is those Celebrations packs. So anything that we get from here is just going to be some icing on top. We got a Timber, a Tepig, Glammeow. The Landed is the reverse. Did we get anything? No. 0 for 3. 0 for 3 today. But that's all right, because my favorite set of all time, Darkness Ablaze, it's actually the first set I opened here on the YouTube channel. This has something for us. We're looking for a Charizard. It's possible. It's possible to get the Charizard in the Darkness Ablaze. Darkness Ablaze code card going out. Got four from the back. Let's go. Charizard in the Darkness Ablaze. Psychic Energy to start off. Rose Tower. Simiseer. Man, I haven't opened Darkness Ablaze in so long. This is awesome to see these cards again. Garmory. Pan Sage. Electrike, Fletching, Galarian, Mr. Mime. I have so many of those cards. The reverse is a Toxapex and a Scourge V. Oh, wait, we actually just got a Scourge out of the Scourge pack. That's awesome. All right, we finally got a hit. It only took, what, four packs? And we got a Scourge V. I actually don't think I have that card, so that's going to be going to the Darkness Ablaze Master set. But now, can history repeat itself? If we got the Scourge out of the Scourge pack, that means that we have to be getting the Charizard out of the Charizard pack, right? Here we go. Final code card for our five extra booster packs. One, two, three, four from the back. And let's see what we can do here. Let's go right to the familiar bell. Struggle gloves. This so far has been a struggle. I'm not going to lie. Clang. Squovit. Finarak. Larvesta. Hippopotas. Gallet. All right. Old PC is the reverse. Charizard. Is it going to happen? No. It's a fire type, but it is not a Charizard. All right. So only one hit out of those five packs but that's all right because now we have our 10 celebrations there's 40 total cards here in my hand i'm hoping that at least one of them is a charizard but honestly those sets that we just opened those are all really tough i mean vivid voltage i don't think i've ever gotten a hit out of darkness ablaze is pretty tough it took me like a whole booster box i didn't get a charizard but it took me a whole booster box just to get something and then chilling rain i haven't opened enough and we all know battle styles is infamous 
for being impossible. But celebrations, on the other hand, completely different. Celebrations is hit after hit after hit. So we're starting off with a Cosmog. First celebrations, let's do a Groudon, one of my favorite artworks in this set. I think this Groudon card is absolutely beautiful. Reshiram and Professor's Research. Here's the code. The cool thing about Professor's Research, though, is he's breaking the fourth wall. I do like that, but nothing too big there. That's all right. Moving on into the next one. Let's see what we could do here. All right. Oops. Opened it the wrong way. That's all right. We're going to flip it right over. We got a Palkia. Another Cosmog. Oh, we got a Venusaur. I didn't even know that he was in the third slot. That's why I wasn't even really paying attention. Right off the bat, we got the Venusaur, which actually I know everybody loves the Charizard. Venusaur, the card is actually my favorite looking card. Can we get the Mega Pack? No, Solgaleo. But wow, we finally got the Venusaur. I have yet to pull this absolutely beautiful card. I love the hollow, love the green. The big frog has arrived. He's nice and sleeved up, and there we go. First hit, very nice. Oh, I am feeling great after that one. Let me tell you guys right now. So like I said, I did not even know that that was in the third slot. Imagine we pull all three starters in one opening. That would be absolutely insane. The OG3 and the Gold Mew. Give me all four of those cards. All right, starting off with the Reshiram. Zekrom. Cosmo. Oh, and there's the Mew Hollow. Not the Golden Mew, but still, what a great looking card. We got the Holographic Mew. Look at these two. So beautiful. That's why I love Celebrations, man, because like I said, it is literally just hit after hit after hit. Next pack. Let's see if we can keep the streak alive. Don't get me wrong, though. The other cards in the set are really, really nice, like the Dialga. I do think that there's actually a Dark Gyarados in this set as well. Like, there's just massive stuff in here. All right, here we go. Groudon, I saw the Lugia peek out a little bit. Very nice. I do like the Lugia card as well. We got ho -Oh and Lugia. Shout out Gold and Silver. And we got the Surfing Pikachu. Very nice. I actually do not have Surfing Pikachu yet, so absolutely awesome to pull. I do want to complete this set. There's only 25 cards in the Celebration set, so it's not too difficult to complete. And Surfing Pikachu is going to make a very nice addition. And next pack, again, keeping that streak alive. Let's do it. Here we go. Still looking for that Charizard, though. We got the Venusaur. Getting a Blastoise would be really cool as well. I do not have a Blastoise as either. So we're looking for whatever we could get here. So we got Cosmog. Kyogre, love that Kyogre card. Groudon and Kyogre are such awesome legendaries, man. And then we got a Don fan. Whoa! I've actually never seen this one before. I didn't even know this was in the set. I love the hollow on the outside. Okay, very cool. And then a Lunala. All right, guys, here we go. Five packs left. We're halfway through our Celebrations packs. Five opportunities for a Charizard, five opportunities for a Blastoise. Let's see what we could do. But as I was saying, I do love the Celebration set, man. It's literally just, like I said, it's just hit after hit. As soon as you open a pack, you just get greeted by a holographic. Like that always feels great. So we got the Yvettel, Cosmog, Zekrom, and the new Lunala. All right, not the best one, not the best one, but you know what? That's fine because we just had like four bangers back to back to back to back. And I am super happy about that. But here we go, another shot for a Charizard. Another shot for Blastoise. I do really want to complete this set. So if you guys are enjoying the video so far, leave a like. And we'll open up some more celebrations here on the channel and try to complete the set. Hopefully, we get that Charizard today because I am still looking for that. We got the Kyogre, the Groudon. Oh, we actually got a Cleffa. So this apparently is actually a very rare card to get. So we got the Cleffa Holographic. Awesome. I don't have this one either, so I'm very happy with that. And then the Solgaleo code card for you guys. Honestly, guys, even if I mean, I don't want to say that we're not going to get it because I believe we will get it. But even if we don't get the Charizard, I'm so happy to finally have that Venusaur. And I don't even know what it is like. Even when I played the games as a kid, I always picked Charmander. I never really picked Bulbasaur. I do like him, but there's something about the Venusaur card. I think it might just my favorite color is green. So maybe that's what it is. But we got Kyogre, Yvetto, Dark Gyarados. Let's go. We got it. Oh, what a sick card, man. We got the Dark Gyarados. Can we get the Mega Pack? Professor's Research. Here you guys go for the code. The Dark Gyarados has been pulled. What a beauty, man. What a beauty. So when I'm opening sets, I'm usually looking for like one or two cards, like maybe three, like specifically. In this set, obviously, I wanted the three starters and then the Golden Mew, but Dark Gyarados was definitely on that list in the top five that I wanted to get. And we pulled him as well. This has been absolutely unbelievable. Dark Gyarados, welcome to the collection. And now we got... Two more celebrations packs. Which one should we do? Left, right, left, right, left. Okay, we'll do this one. But you guys see what I'm saying? Like, if you've opened celebrations, you know that it is just, it just hits differently, man. It just hits differently. And then going back and opening regular sets is so tough because it's like, 
you'll get three packs in a row like you saw at the beginning where we just get no hits and then you come up with celebrations it's like here's a hollow here's a hollow here's a hollow next one is gonna be a cosmog oh zashian v full art very nice i like it code card as well and the zashian v has been pulled i do love the artwork man Everything about this set is just so awesome. Ashi and V, like I said to the Dark Gyarados, welcome to the collection. I'm happy to have you. But we have one final pack. Is there a Charizard in here? Let's see what we have behind the final pack, number 10. Also, let me know down in the comments, guys. Have you pulled the Charizard out of any of your Celebrations packs? Ooh, I see the Xerneas. Finally, the Xerneas has shown himself what a beautiful card here i don't really think i've played too much of x and y but i do love this pokemon i think it's absolutely awesome all the colors all that stuff is great lugia here we go it's gonna be a dialga and oh the full art professor's research not a charizard but still a great hit there's the final code card the final pull of the video professor's research i mean just look at this this is all the pulls at the end of all of our videos we always go through the pulls i've never had a stack this thick <laughs> Of great pulls. So the Senna Scorch V, that was like I said, icing on the cake. We got that from the Darkness Ablaze. We got ourselves the Mew. The Surfing Pikachu, which is a great card. The Venusaur, my happiest hit of the day. I absolutely love this card, man. So happy to have the Venusaur in my collection. The Dark Gyarados as well. Jeez, we just pulled these, but going through them again, I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe I got them. We have the Donphan. This was actually super interesting. I didn't think that this card existed. I love the outside border here. So really cool card there. The full art Zashian V, of course, looks amazing. The Cleffa, it's Cleffa, it's rare, it's cute. Anyway, Professor's Research, the final pull. So unfortunately today, no Charizard, no Mew, but that just means that we got to open more celebration packs. So if you guys want to see that here on the channel, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments what your favorite pull of celebrations has been so far. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to see you all in the next one.